Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode 4 of Airborne Kingdom. Alright, so we spent all of episode 3 gathering resources, beefing up our kingdom, stripping the land of the resources, leaving nothing behind for the, for the inhabitants of the land below. Kind of rude to be honest, but you know what? I'm in a flying kingdom, I can do whatever the hell I want. Alright guys, so today... We are going to go explore, and if we actually pause, if we go to the map, we can actually read about the quests that we have available. We have three different quests. We have the Great Library, the Nomad's Orrery, and the Tranquil Gardens. All right, the Great Library, what does it say? It says, in the airborne kingdom of the ancients, the Great Library housed eternal knowledge. They did not hide any secrets, merely stored accumulated knowledge in one location. Much of this knowledge was housed in the three major libraries across the lands. Though now lost, if we find the libraries, we may create our own center of wisdom. Perhaps in aggregating our thoughts, we may find efficiencies in our knowledge and unlock the true potential in any future construction as well. The old libraries are chiseled from a cliffside with only the entrance visible. Though they are large for a building, these will be difficult to see from the skies. All right, sounds like we need to keep our eyes peeled for small little entrances to cliff sides to find these libraries. What about the Nomad's Orrery? It says the ancients did not travel in blindness as we do. The myths speak of the Nomad's Orrery, which allowed them to map the lands by the stars. Our understanding of the ground below is rudimentary. If we could rebuild this wondrous machine, it might reveal the world to us. The crucial parts of the ancient's orrery are three golden spheres, weighed exactly to mirror the motions of the celestials above. Though these spheres are enormous next to a person, they will be very hard to spot from the skies. We must look out for them wherever we travel. Ooh, all right, so there's gonna be lots of hard things for us to spot. We gotta really keep our eyes peeled for these things. And the third one, the Tranquil Gardens. It says, The Tranquil Gardens of the Ancients were unlike any others. They hung from the airborne kingdom itself, calming all in the flying capital as it moved about the world. The rumors claim nothing special in the building, but rather the great trees within the garden. Taken from various corners of the world, their combination instilled serenity. Perhaps in gathering these trees, we too may banish all displeasure from our kingdom, allowing our minds to focus on tranquility. The trees grow in hidden ruins, each standing alone. If we can find all three, we may rebuild the gardens as they were. All right, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled for all these secret stuff and things. Looks like it might be a little difficult to spot some of this stuff. Man, the tunes are blaring right now. Alright, let's head on over here, guys. Keep our eyes peeled for all the secret stuff and things. For the spheres, for the ancient ruin entrances. All sorts of stuff and things. You know, we could probably just skip straight ahead over here. Let's speed up time. Our resources are looking pretty good. Looking pretty, looking pretty fly. We're doing researching. What are we researching? We're researching water consumption per household. Nice, so that'll help us travel further, hold on to more water. Uh, we're gonna have to be looking closely at the terrain below. Man, look at those little paddles go. <laughs> this thing is adorable. All right. After we explore, oops. After we explore this area up here, we can make our way back down, and we'll come back around these little isle uh, these little islands, and we'll go back to that settlement to see if uh, if maybe we can get more peeps. This settlement down here it says two out of three. Does that mean I can do I can get more peeps from there? I assume so. All right, we've already been to this Eternal Forge. That gave us some more aesthetic customizations. My god, look at this forest. It is enormous. It is ginormous. Huge. Absolutely huge. 
We got some coal over there. Beautiful. That'll be good for the way back. What do we got in there? Quartz? 65 quartz. My god. Huge. Huge. Trying to be on the lookout for the entrance to one of these little ruins. You never know where it might be. I assume that if I hover over it with my cursor, I assume it'll highlight like all the other places do, you know? But we'll see, we'll see. All right, we are carrying 265 resources out of 325. We're at 86 out of 90 lift. Could I do another warehouse, guys? Would that be wise? Oh, you know what I should do? I should do the upgrade that allows you to stack the warehouses. That's the one I should do. That'll help keep the uh, keep the kingdom a little bit more compact. How many quartz do we have? 24? Maybe we shouldn't really be getting all this wood. Maybe we should get quartz instead. Might be a good idea, might be a good move. Trying to be on the lookout for an entrance to any secret places. This is the Golden Grove. We've already been there. We could go again and see if there's anything around it. Like around the other side. Alright, the quartz mine has been depleted. Housing block has been upgraded, folks. Absolutely splendid. Uh, what was I going to do? Storage upgrade? I was going to upgrade the warehouses so I can stack them. Six hours to research? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, mate. Get that quartz over there while we're flying by. We're kind of in the area. There's 108 wood over here. My god, that's a lot of wood. There is a unknown settlement up there. Beautiful. We need more peeps. That would help out immensely. We're going to need to build a another turbine here pretty soon, folks. Another vertical rotor. So we just get that going right now. The city would tilt too far, really. Oops. Really now? Is that what is that what you want to tell me? It would tilt too far, huh? You know, there's stuff way out there. Interesting. It doesn't show anything on the map over there. All right, let's fly to the middle so we can collect the quartz a little bit more quickly. Still trying to keep my eyes peeled for the spheres or the entrances to the little ruins for the great libraries. Not seeing anything straight away. How are we doing on coal? 89 out of 120, we're good. Water's fine, food's fine. We're okay, we're all right. Almost got all the quartz. We're just going to deplete that. Oh, actually, our storage is full. Never mind. So I guess we're good. Let's uh, go to the small settlement. Let's get more peeps. Welcome aboard. Uh, we need jubilant inhabitants. We are only satisfied. It's because one inhabitant does not have a home, is that why? So if we pause the game here... Did I build the upgrade where I can stack my houses? 
I did, okay. I think I stacked all these ones, right? Just keep stacking them all in the same spot. Not enough lift to support the weight. That is unfortunate. Alright, warehouse has been upgraded. Beautiful, baby. Let's do... Let's see. Do you want to do the warehouse upgrade again so we can stack it three times? Yeah, let's pause the game while we're doing this. How much, how much adobe do I have? 79? That's fine. Um, we should probably do decrease cold usage by 60%. Or do I want to do more resource storage? Maybe I should do food silo stacking? Maybe we should do stacking for each of these bad boys. It, it, it only requires six hours of research. So then I can kind of condense my kingdom a little bit. Why are my peeps? One desire needed by inhabitants of a community to feel jubilant. What desire? What do they need? What do they require? Why are they not super happy? What's the problem here? Do they need more lift? Is that why they're not happy? Is that why they're not jubilant? What's their problem? <laughs> what is their deal? Do heavy tilt. City would tilt too far, really. The tilt thing's becoming a bit of an issue, isn't it? I think I might need to start tilting on the sides here, guys. Or I gotta kind of find the position where it's gonna be the best. Here, let's see. Yeah, I might need to just do stabilizing ones on the sides. If I can. Like, back here. Kind of hard to see. It tells me what the tilt is. Let's see. No tilt issues. Zero front. Three left. Two right. So it'd be better for me to do it on the left right now. Wait, no. It'd be better on the right, maybe? It kind of equals out here. We should do... Yeah, I got to do them on the side somewhere. Let's see. So I need to start doing pathways around here, guys. Let's see. So if we do like that, and if we do like that, let's get that built. So I'm assuming it's the lift which is making them a little unhappy. Hopefully that'll make them jubilant and then I can get that extra worker. Why are they not jubilant? One desire needed. What desire? One desire needed. What desire? What do they want? Can I just not have them jubilant anymore? What's the, what's the deal here? I don't know. Not really sure what the deal is. Alright, we are tilting a little bit that direction. <laughs> Not really sure. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we're just going to have to skip those guys. 
Uh, we do have a lot more lift now, though, so we could, uh, we could build some more warehouses. We could start stacking them, actually. It's built three of them. That's probably going to add a lot of weight to that side. We'll we'll see, though. All right, uh, we should probably keep moving. Here, let's slow the game down, because I am kind of cruising at a quick speed here. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Clay deposit? Definitely want to get that clay, baby. So we can get that adobe. Still trying to be on the lookout for entrances to library stuff and things and the spheres and whatnot. Probably gonna be pretty hard to spot, right? We'll just keep on heading up though. There's a lot of stuff up here. A lot to be explored. A lot to discover. A lot to conquer. Yeah, we're not really tilting too much. Just three, deg three degrees to the right. Not bad, not bad. I could always weigh it down over here a little bit. I could double stack my food silos, which will probably help a little bit. All right, we're up to 362 resource storage capacity. Beautiful. And our food silo double stack research is almost done. That over there, another, uh, another little settlement. Beautiful clay has been depleted. All right, keep on the lookout. Keep your eyes peeled. Or secret entrances, secret little spheres. Secret stuff and things. Here, let's get the clay over here as well. Gotta keep an, gotta keep an eye on our coal, make sure we're gonna be okay. There's coal over there, not a whole lot. We could get the coal before we proceed. Alright, food, food silo's been upgraded. Let's upgrade the water tower to the double stack as well. Um, let's do food silo double stack. Let's do two of those. Nearby clay's been depleted. Beautiful. Uh, do we want to do we want to do the coal before we move up? Probably, right? Since we're down to seventy-seven. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Let's play it on the safe side. We've come too far to crash down to the ground. Come too far now. Construction resource storage is almost full. What does that mean? Construction resource storage? We can hold 230 food and 155 water. Do I see anything over here on the side of a mountain? I'm zoomed in as far as I as far as I can be. Not seeing anything.
coal storage is almost full. Oh, it, it is full. Beautiful. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's let the clay deposits regenerate. And let's head up here, shall we? Water tower. Double stack has been upgraded. Let's do... Increase maximum possible speed of the town center by 10%. Research time is only three hours. Nice, that'll help us get around a little bit more quickly here. Because I am playing at the fastest game speed right now, and it is taking me quite a while to get around. All right, food, water, coal, everything's good, baby. We're good. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm able to make my citizens jubilant until I unlock one desire. But I've yet to find any desire stuff and things. I think I need to come across different kingdoms before I can really even unlock that or discover it at all. All right, looking at the cliff sides, not seeing anything. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see, there is another settlement. We're getting there. There is a relic ruin over there. Down center has been upgraded, baby. Now we can do increase maximum possible speed. Oh, this is only possible speed by 20%. That's fine, we'll do that. It only takes 11 hours, 12 hours or something. What is our speed? 13% of our fastest possible speed. You know, you know what I haven't built, guys? I haven't built any propulsion stuff. Have I even researched that? I haven't. I, I should. The research is in one hour. Well, uh, let's do that first. Because that'll get done super quick. Because I have quite a few people now, so I could actually... Build a little bit of extra propulsion. Get us really moving and grooving. Alright, is there anything over here? Not seeing anything over here. Alright, sail's been researched. Can we upgrade the sail? Increase propulsion by 25%. Six hours, let's do it. Alright, I'm not seeing anything over here to get besides the trees. Let's head over to the little settlement here. That's an unknown ruin. Oh, is that one of the trees? Oh, I think it is. That could be cool. All right, let's talk to the small settlement. Let's recruit some peeps. This guy wants us to be jubilant. All right, we're not able to get him yet. We got two out of three. All right, now we have 11 idle people. We can do propulsion, a sail. Generates propulsion, high cost, no fuel, four workers, high speed. Can I kind of just place it wherever the hell I want? Interesting. place them at the back here so it'll look cool you know so let's see let's try to let's try to figure that out how come I can't rotate it Do they only face one direction? Hmm. Pressing R. I'm pretty sure R is the button to rotate, is it not? Yeah, R is to rotate. Huh, I guess you're not able to... Rotate these bad boys. That's kind of weird, huh? It's kind of strange. All right, well, 
Oh wait, it says where different propulsion speeds are at. Plus nine propulsion, is it different in other areas? Nine, 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 plus nine, plus nine, plus nine, plus nine, plus nine. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's weird that you're not able to rotate it. Okay, whatever. All right, let's get that one going, baby. You know, we should probably get some more pathways as well, just to future-proof this a little bit. Connect those together. All right. This place is starting to look up, starting to shape up. Starting to look good. Might as well get a little bit of coal. All right, Tree of Harmony. We near a lone peaceful tree surrounded by ruined walls. We feel more serene the closer we approach. Immediately, we recognize it as one of the trees needed for the rumored tranquil gardens. This wondrous ancient construction would help our kingdom immensely. We pick its seeds with delight, knowing we are one step closer to building the tranquil gardens. All right, we got one out of three. Is that marked on the quest? It is, all right. So that's a pretty easy one to spot. Like, you'd have to be blind as a bat. I wonder if the other ones are gonna be that easy to spot. What's this thing, though? This little thing right near it? That I'm looking down at, is that part of it? It must be, right? It must be. All right, anyway. All right, what's our speed? 13. Look at that. Ba oh, it's because they go that direction. Okay, that's why you're not able. Okay, that makes sense. Why you can't rotate it then. Cool. So now we're at 23% speed, baby. Oh my god, that is a huge boost. Massive, guys. Massive. Massive increase. All right, let's send a worker to the Relic Ruin. Where are we on the map, by the way? We're only right here. There's so much more to explore, guys. This game has quite a bit to it. it. Takes a little while to get around. All right, coal's full. Let's get more quartz. Relics have been found. We got 10 relics now, beautiful. Oh, I spy with my little eye. What is that? Unknown settlement too far. All right. All right, well, let's make a little stop right here, guys. And we'll, um... We'll get the water and we'll get the food. We'll stock up as much as we can, and then we'll head on over to that little settlement over yonder, shall we? Things are going pretty good with the city, not gonna lie. Feeling feeling uh feeling good about it. Uh we should probably get more housing as well, right? Probably double stack everything that we can. Cool. Just a future future proof it a little bit. Alright, sale's been upgraded. Beautiful. We should upgrade the sale again. What do you say? All right, increase propulsion by 50% research in 22 hours. It's gonna take a while, but should be worth it. That'll save on coal. All right, we're gonna get all the water and all the food that we can get. Oh yeah, we should probably upgrade our water towers a little bit here. We can double stack them now. Let's see, um... Let's do three of them. This place is looking wild. This place is looking crazy. Oops. Um, let's take one worker off of each of these. Or I guess just one off of there so we can start working on building the, building the, uh, the upgrades. Okay. 
We are tilting a little to the left side here. I would love to restructure my kingdom a little bit, but it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of dangerous to move a lot of things around. Like, I wish I could land almost, you know, just to reset everything and get it a little bit more tidy, a little bit more organized. We have 29 water remaining. We can definitely hold it. We got lots of space for water and stuff and things now. Tons of it. Almost done with those three water tower upgrades. Alright, this guy's building the roads. Look at him go. Can I not destroy the path? What's the deal here? Destroy, there we go. All right, beautiful. Ooh, what's that way over there? An unknown kingdom? Oh, baby. Oh, that's where we gotta go. That's where we're going. Alright, the oasis is pretty much sucked dry. There's a little bit of food left over here. So we'll get all that. Beautiful. Start making our way up on over to the small settlement. And we'll cruise our way through these small islands over to that kingdom. But you know what, guys? With the dawning of a new day, I think we're going to call that the end to yet another episode. Oh, my God. Cannot wait to do another one. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna record probably two or three more episodes right after this one. Because I'm kind of hooked on this game right now, guys. Anyway, as I always plead with you, my people, my viewers, my fans, if I can go, if I can be so bold to say that. If you have not liked a video, please do so. It's free of charge. If you haven't done so already either, subscribing to the channel is super easy, super free. I know that you're probably already subbed to like a million channels and you don't want to clog up your sub list, but my god, it would help out me a lot. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, always good to have you guys here. Hopefully I brought you at least a little bit of entertainment. And uh, with that, I will see you fine folks in the next one.